This is James Fox with another video tutorial for QuickBooks Pro 2013. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an inventory valuation summary report. Now, the purpose of this report is to show you information about the quantity and the value of the inventory that your company currently owns. So let's run the report and take a look at it to see what's on it. So to run the report, click on the Reports menu. Go down to Inventory, then select Inventory Valuation Summary. Now here's a list of all of the items in the inventory for my fictitious company, Joe's Landscaping. Now most of these columns are self-explanatory. The on-hand column tells you how many are available for sale. Average cost is the average cost of the item that you paid upon its purchase. The asset value is simply the on-hand amount times the average cost. And everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. If you need to customize this report a little bit more, click Customize Report. If you want to view the inventory as of a certain date, you can change the date in the Dates drop-down menu, or you can select a particular date in the From and To Date fields. If you want to filter some information, click the Filters tab. And let's say, for example, you only wanted to show a particular item in this report. Scroll down to the Item field and then select the item that you want to be shown in the report from the Item menu. For example, if I only wanted to see Pink Roses, I'm going to select Pink Roses and then click OK. And now Pink Roses is the only item on the list. And that is how you create an inventory valuation summary report. If you have any questions, please send me an email. Once again, my name is James Fox, and I'll see you next time.